Okay, good evening everybody. Um, it's a Friday night and I've been inspired to talk tomatoes because a little dirt never hurt was putting his leggy tomatoes into into um, pots and folding over the um, stems and all sorts of that. It inspires me to, to do things. So anyway, I've put three tomato plants out into um, these Tom Wright giant tomato plants. I don't normally use these. But um, I've, got, I've got three halos, so I'm going to try three in halos, three without halos. But what I want to really talk about tonight is quad grows. Now, I've been using quad grows for quite a few years, and I've got some duo grows under there, look. Some duo grows, um, quad grows. I've got some potato ones, so it's got a big tray on it. I've also got a salad grower. Um, I like them. I think they're a good idea, but yes, they are expensive. So, I just want to very quickly show you how I do mine. Uh, there is no rhyme or reason to my badness. It's just a tried and tested method. I soak the wicks in water for at least five minutes before I get ready to put them into pots. What I do while that is happening is, I tie, let me just find me a uh, me pot, me summer pot. Oh, there you see now, now I'm looking for stuff, I can't find it. Here you go, because it's underneath here. I tie a little <coughs> piece of wood to the bottom of my grower. Okay, what I do then is I push it through the pot and then pull it till it's tight. Put it on the quad grow, ready to go. And there you go. What I do then is this. Get this in the right place. Hopefully you'll be able to see. Getting a wick. Tip. Tip facing up. So the tip of it faces up. Thread it through the two holes. So it's in the reservoir at the bottom. I'm using some cheap Asda compost in a couple of pots. You have to pull it up. Basically you want it at the top when you get finished. Asda compost, four for, four for a tenner. Now, I've seen them in Asda now, they're only three for a tenner, so Asda have uh, got a bit smart because everybody was going there and obviously buying them four for a tenner. So look, there you go. Mine were four for ten pound. Now they're three for ten pound. So Asda, you've not, you've not done us very proud and I understand, you know, we're all in the money making business. I get that, you, you know, but come on. One minute they're four for a tenner, next minute they're three for a tenner. Ah, never mind. So, there you go, let me pot just about four. Wick sticking up, look, wick sticking up. Hole for my tomato plant. Now we'll have to go and get the tomatoes, because they're outside. Look, here's my tomato plants. Now, these aren't leggy. These are these are quite strong plants, and they've got good root system on them. A little dirt never so hurts. Thinks these are. He said these was leggy, and, and I looked at his and I thought, crikey! If he's a leggy one, well, what am I? Bless. So um, I don't know. What, somebody just tell me if they're leggy or not. But I don't think they are. So I bury them now up to that leaf stem so you can see now i've got quite a bit to come out so that's what i'm going to do now i'm going to bury it and it's up to that leaf stem in this pot taking 
the other leaf still. Big hole. Get it right in. All the way up to that leaf stem. There you go. A bit more compost around it. And that's it. Done. The piece of string now. Just here. We'll come up, just pull it slightly. You can see there that the tip of the wick should be sticking up. There it is, tip of the wick. Okay, string, and then I just put that on my frame that I've got, and I'll show you the frame when I get sorted out another time. When we tomatoes, and basically that's me potting up tomatoes in a quad grow and that's how I do it now a lot of people might have different ways I'm quite happy to listen to people's comments and suggestions on them I just love the quad grows I've got a I've got a, a, a holiday planter as well I stick it on a couple of bricks put it into the side but sometimes the um, reservoir can not get over full but the, the roots of the tomato plants can sometimes go towards the reservoir and block it up and stop it from filling up so there you go um, don't fill the reservoir up at all not at this moment in time just leave it just leave the tomatoes to grow for a bit all right so don't fill it up yet and it won't be full up now for at least i would say 10 days 10 days until i can see some more shoots on these tomato plants all right that's how i fill my quad grow these are my halos, and I've done these. I've done some uh, some other planting as well. And this is my garden at the back. Look, I've um, put some grass seed in. Right, okay. All depending on what channel you're watching. Hashtag Dean's lost the plot. Giant sunflower challenge or Giant Sunflower Challenge 2018 these are my Giant Sunflowers mm, yeah I've, I've got them out I'm going, to take, I'm going to take four up to the allotment because they do really well up there and I'm going to put the rest in here where these ducks are at the moment and normally they grow up here and normally they're right up there so there you go you can see I've been quite busy potting stuff on putting them here hanging baskets together done a bit of tidying up as well so I've not been up my lot I've been in here tomato, sorry tomato mm, strawberries, these are my strawberries mm, not very good this year might have to put a couple more in it put some plants under the windowsill so they'll come on and I've got some birds now starting to nest in the nesting boxes under my summer house so they're good to watch right that's me for tonight everybody I um, hope you enjoyed the video um, please um, comment like and subscribe like everybody else says yeah I know um, that's me then yep TTFM for now everybody, ta-da for now.